What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how I make my drum template. This right here, I get a lot of questions about it, so I'm going to show you. What you're going to do is create an NNXT. Hold shift so that the next instrument doesn't route to anything. Create a red drum. Hold shift again. Go to utilities. Create a matrix pattern sequencer. We're going to flip it over, pressing tab. Connect this gate input to the gate output of the red drum. Then we're going to take the note CV of the matrix and connect it to the C CV um, input of the NNXT. So this gate input is going to be told by the red drum when to trigger. So the red drum is telling the NNXT when to play whatever sound you have in it. The matrix is telling the NNXT which note to play. I'm gonna flip it over, add a drum, that'll work. So now program something in there, and you see you don't hear anything. So, what you have to do. Press run. And now you could change the pitch from the matrix. The reason I have a matrix here rather than just using the NNXT's pitch is because when you connect the NNXT to the red drum, the red drum automatically triggers the NNXT to output at E3. And we want it to output at the pitch we want it to output at, possibly C3, since that is the automatic route that it's on. But this is what it would sound like. So this is the original pitch, and this is what the, the red drum is doing. So it's pitched up to E3. So bring that back. And then what you want to do is... Bring the steps down to one so that it'll send one pitch unless you want to modulate that over time. That's up to you. So now it's the same pitch. The only thing that's different is this right here, the envelope setting in the red drum. So you're going to put it on mode one and now it should sound identical. The only difference is the value. So that's how I make my drum template. Now the way I sequence it is a few extra steps. Um, in order for this to be a fast process, I drag everything inside of the mix channel where the insert effects go, just like this. And I usually drop that down just so, just because, personal preference. And I name everything. So this is a snare. Spelt that wrong, of course. And I'll label this snare RD for red drum. The NNXT is going to be called snare to match the mix channel. That's where the final sound is going to come out. Snare PC for pitch control. Now what I'm going to do is go to the sequencer. And everything is right here. So if you notice, if I have that playing, there's no way to drop it out when I'm sequencing my beat. So the solution to that is to right click on the red drum track, create pattern loop lane, grab the pen tool, and you can draw in the loop that you programmed your pattern on right there. And there's four banks, A, B, C, and D, and there's eight patterns for each of them. So that's about 32 different patterns you have access to create if my multiplication doesn't fail. So 
In order to change that, just come up to the pattern loop. You can draw it on top. You can shorten it however you want to. Um, change the resolution to shorten it. And that comes in handy when you have access to these resolutions, stuff like that. You can make different rolls with your hi-hats or your snares or whatever the case may be. You can do all that within the red drum and not have to worry about clicking around in the sequencer. So if you decide that you don't want to use the red drum and you just want to use the NNXT, all you have to do is just delete it. If you don't want the matrix, delete it. It's better to have it there and not need it and delete it than to not have it there and have to waste time creating it. Although you could create a, a patch and save it as a patch if you would like. In order to do that, let me get those back. Just show programmer, save insert effects patch, and make sure the sounds aren't in your self-contained settings. Just uh, uncheck the sound that you used and then you'll be able to save it as a patch. So that's it guys. That's how I make my drum, drum template. I pretty much duplicate this for how many ever, however many drums I need. Rename everything, make sure everything's nice and neat. Uh, make it a simple color. And uh, that's it. So if you like this video, give a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, let me know what you would like to see next, and it's all culture.